So, you want to master the imposter side of Among Us, do you? Well, I hope you've got your sneaking boots on, because this is going to get slippery. Strap yourself in, kiddies, this is going to be a long one. Oh, and take notes, those of you in the back. I don't want to have to repeat myself. The best chance for success that an imposter has is finding lone crewmates. Utilize the admin map. See where people are alone, vent to them quickly, and secure your kill. Note, every map has some sort of detection. Learn where the cameras are, and don't act suspicious below them. You never know who may be watching. The smart killers will wait until their kill cooldown is up, then jump into a vent, where they can jump out, immediately assassinate their target, and jump back in, disappearing once more. Note, your cooldown will not recharge when you're in a vent, so you do need to make sure it is up before you hop in. Next, the closer you kill to a vent, the more likely you are to get away unnoticed. This is going to be especially important with smart crewmates or those that stick together. In the same vein, be smart with your kills. If someone has seen you with a crewmate time and time again, and then they turn up dead, you will be the first suspected. Kill those that you've barely interacted with at all. The best way of doing this is a drive-by kill. Get in, kill your target, and get out. Another way of boosting your killing runs is by learning how to do double kills, or stacked kills, or spawn kills for those caught unaware. Just note that they are risky and require finesse to pull off. And finally, if you can focus on killing those proven innocent, your chances of success will skyrocket! If three or more proven innocents get together and start running as a group, the game is almost certainly lost. This is especially important on Skeld, where there are multiple animated tasks for the innocents to prove themselves. If that happens, your only hope is you have a second imposter friend, you do a double kill, and then you report instantly and blame the third. But still, this is incredibly risky. As the second they are thrown out of the airlock, the jig will be up. Likewise, if you are trying to kill those proven innocent, leave alive those who are dumb or under contention for being an imposter. Never kill the only other suspected crewmate. All you will succeed in doing is shifting the blame onto yourself. Don't just run around. Entering rooms and leaving them is a red flag for any smart crewmates. Every room you enter, go to a task that you can fake, ensuring that it is from your list or common enough that people won't think twice about. Then you may leave the room, as you have proven yourself to those watching. Also, when faking tasks, try not to imitate tasks that raise the task bar. You sometimes will be caught waiting, waiting for the task bar to rise before you leave. And if you've gone to a simple click button or wires task and you're there for over a minute, people will start to talk. However, if you are questioned, claim idiocy. Claim that you are looking at your phone or maybe the admin card task was too difficult, you were hitting it too fast, then too slow. If time is on your side, then hang around people, get them to trust you. Walk with them from task to task, imitate tasks of your own, before leaving off to do your nefarious deeds. That way, when a discussion is called, you will have a stalwart ally beside you, someone to have your back when the accusations start flying. To that end, in securing people's trust, Always, always fix sabotages the moment you get there. There's nothing more suspicious to a human than coming across a crewmate blatantly not completing a sabotage. If possible, always draw the crewmates to the opposite side of the map to where you just performed a kill. That, along with fast venting, will keep you visible around the crewmates, lowering your suspicion. In my personal opinion, the light sabotage is the best sabotage in the game. You can even get away with performing kills right next to the innocents. And if there is a group, you can perform stack kills and no one will know anything. Now, imposter discussion tips. This will be more relevant from when you can use your voice and not have to rely on text. But it is still important either way. Don't over talk in meetings. 
Talking brings you into focus. Many imposters win by staying silent until spoken to. Unless you are one of those special people that just doesn't know how to shut their mouths. If that is the case, then continue as you always were, otherwise you may raise suspicion. Also, never go into a meeting unprepared. Know what your story is, where you were, who you were with. If two non-imposters are arguing, let them continue. They are winning you the game. Just let them waste time. Speaking of which, the discussions are all about the limited amount of time the crewmates have to discuss and gather evidence. Stall them if possible. Only really doable in a vocal sense, but humor is a great distraction. Getting people laughing or talking about irrelevant topics only furthers your cause. Either that, or focus on something that you saw someone do that might be suspicious. Like missing a corpse. That is a great time to throw somebody else under the bus. Unless you have an example of suspicious activity, do not force blame onto innocence. Trying to get extra innocence removed might force suspicion back onto you. If there is no concrete evidence, get the team to admit that and skip the voting. Rely on your competent killing skills to get the job done. Whilst it is important to never intentionally rat out your imposter friends, if the evidence against them is overwhelming, don't defend them. Be the first to lead the charge. Agree with everything they've said. If they have messed up, they deserve death. And it will only mean that their chances of success will ironically increase, as you are seen as a bastion of all things good for leading the charge against them. If you are down to the final four players, and you're not under suspicion, don't kill. People will be sticking together. Instead, use the emergency meeting and make up something that targets the most suspicious player. And then when you are down to three after that most surprising failed eviction, you can laugh at them and steal victory. That's it. You're now a master of being an imposter. As these tips are rather extensive, I will be including them in written form in the description below. Use them well. And please, win this time. Thank you. Now get out! Whilst I'm sure there are corrections to make, I'm sure that this is the most comprehensive that I'll ever need to be on Among Us. Therefore, I will see you in a different video on another tutorial.